This is Warriors Today by Chat Sports. I am Chase Senior. Let's get to the latest Warriors free agency news and rumors and get you caught up with some of the things that are happening with the dubs right now. So late last night, after we were done going live on our main Chat Sports YouTube channel for day one of NBA free agency, the Warriors did bring in a veteran player who I think provides this team some value with his ability to stretch the floor. Otto Porter signing a deal with Golden State. According to Chris Haynes, he did have some suitors elsewhere for a guy who went in the top five of the NBA draft a few years ago, secured the bag several years ago. He's not that player because of injuries, but I think as a veteran presence, I like to pick up for Golden State. Chris Haynes saying that Otto Porter turned down a mid-level exception to play with the Warriors at the minimum. And at most, Otto Porter is going to be a veteran bench piece for this team that I think could get back to championship contention if Klay Thompson is able to come back off the ACL and Achilles injuries. Here's the problem with Otto Porter. He's been injured a lot over the last two years, only logging 28 games and 14 games the last two seasons. So that's somewhat of a concern for me. But if he's able to stay on the floor, Otto Porter is a player who gives you some size. He gives you some defensive prowess. He also can stretch the floor, as I mentioned, and give you some consistent three-point shooting because throughout his career, he's knocked down more than 40% of his three-point attempts. You look at his numbers, and they're pretty solid. A little less than 11 points per game, five rebounds. This guy is an effective and efficient bucket getter. I'm not sure he was worth the price tag that he demanded a few years ago, but on a veteran minimum contract, I actually really like it. And I think slowly, the Warriors, after a weird NBA draft and somewhat of a slow start to NBA free agency, the dubs are starting to pick it up a little bit and redeem themselves. The big number for Porter there, career-wise, shooting more than 40% from distance. Another floor stretcher who the Warriors brought in in the free agency market, Nemanja Bialica. The Miami Heat acquired him on NBA trade deadline day, and this is yet another veteran piece who is also a guy who can shoot it. He's not the greatest defender, but as a floor-stretching big who can back up Kavon Looney as well as James Wiseman on a cheap price, Nemanja Bialica, not a bad pickup for Golden State once again as Bob Myers starts to make some of these Warriors fans happy routing out this roster with some veteran guys who can really help you when it comes down to the playoffs because I think when you have a veteran laden roster combined with the Jonathan Kamingas and Moses Moody's of the world really does help you having a deep team this coming from Woj Warriors signing Bielitsa to a one-year contract played for the Kings and the Heat last year he's 6'10 and he can shoot the rock in the playoffs last year with the Heat he was letting it fly in one of those elimination games for Miami as they got swept by the future NBA champions, the Milwaukee Bucks. And throughout his career, kind of like Otto Porter, this has been a guy who's been able to knock down shots from the outside and find twine from deep. I'll take on this type of deal, short-term, little money, a guy who's 6'10", has some size, and can shoot around 39% from deep. Especially when you think about this. Steph Curry is a good passer. Draymond Green is a good passer. I like Klay Thompson's passing ability as well. Combined with some of the other players on this roster, they're going to be able to find Otto Porter camping out around the perimeter, as well as Nemanja Bialica. I'm not saying that these guys are going to be in the running for the Sixth Man of the Year award, but as 8th, ninth, 10th, maybe 11th, and 12th men off the bench at the cheap price, these are moves that championship teams make when they're trying to get back into that championship window like the Warriors are trying to do. Do you like these signings? Let me know in the comments section right now. Type Y for yes, type N for no. Let me know what you're feeling about the signings of Otto Porter as well as Nemanja Bialica, and let me know down in the comment section down below. I want to emphasize this again because during the NBA draft, I thought it was a point of emphasis for the Warriors to target players who were going to be able to contribute right away. And I was somewhat confused by the pick of... Um, of Jonathan Kaminga at number seven because he's such a raw prospect, right? And I think the Warriors should have pinpointed players who can play right away. I'm not sure Jonathan Kaminga is going to be able to be that. Now, as a 3 and D guy, as a guy who gives you really good defense and athleticism, you know, a guy like Jonathan Kaminga is going to be able to play right away. Moses Moody is a classic 3 and D player coming out of Arkansas, but those are two, 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 two teenagers, excuse me. And I'm just not sure how much they're going to be able to contribute on a team that's ready to win right now. And at the start of NBA free agency, I was somewhat confused by what Bob Myers was doing because the Warriors were somewhat silent. 
Like I said earlier, though, they've started to redeem themselves just a bit with these veteran signings filling out the roster, bringing in guys like Otto Porter as well as Nemanja Bialica. As I look forward at some of the other moves that Golden State could make, a player like Andre Iguodala makes sense. I think Paul Millsap makes sense. There have been some rumors that they're looking into Patty Mills, which we'll get to coming up on today's show on Warriors Today by Chat Sports. I really like uh, Patty Mills as a potential backup point guard for this team. Warriors fans, if you're watching right now on our live coverage on NBA Now by Chat Sports on our main Chat Sports YouTube channel, make sure you subscribe to Warriors Today. YouTube.com slash Warriors TV. Hit that subscribe button down below and help us get to 20,000 subscribers as the channel continues to grow like crazy. We're bringing you the latest Warriors NBA free agency news and rumors. Want to hit Patty Mills right now because there have been some rumblings that the Warriors have interest in Mills. One of my big offseason needs for the Warriors is finding a secondary creator to take some pressure off of Steph Curry because I think last year, while he was fantastic and had the best season of his career up to date, his usage rate was crazy. And I don't want to see Steph Curry wearing down leading into the playoffs. And I think in the NBA play-in tournament, he was somewhat fatigued because he had to carry the bulk of the offensive load. This coming from Marcus Thompson of The Athletic about the Warriors' interest in Patty Mills. Sources say the Warriors have hope with free agent guard Patty Mills, a longtime Spurs reserve. He figures to be one of those difference-making fits. At 32 with a championship ring, 90 career playoff games, and noteworthy international experience with Team Australia, Mills checks the veteran boxes. The Warriors could use his shot-making and offensive creation. That's why I think signing Patty Mills would be a very smart and great signing. He can stretch the floor, he can shoot it, he can create. He's a championship pedigree type of player who already has a ring. He's had a lot of success with Team Australia. Team Australia still having a lot of success in the Olympics right now. And I think at this juncture of Patty Mills' career, he's not going to demand a wildly crazy price tag. And as we know, the Warriors deep into that luxury tax. So I would like for the Warriors to sign him because I think he'd be an awesome backup point guard. There's also this. According to reports, the Warriors also have interest in the six-man runner-up from this past year, Joe Ingles, a sharpshooter who also plays for Team Australia, is also a winning player, has a lot of playoff experience, and has also had a lot of international experience as well. This report also coming from Marcus Thompson. If Jazz forward Joe Ingles is indeed available for a trade, sources say the Warriors do have interest. Just no good way to get him. Ingles, approaching 34 years old, fits the Warriors' need for a veteran and another offensive playmaker. His passing would fit perfectly with the Warriors. He continued on in that report by saying this. He can run point forward and spot up off the ball, making him viable with the starters and the second unit. He's got 45 career playoff games under his belt. He shot a career-best 45% from distance on a career-high six attempts per game. His third season at 44% or above from long range. He's also reputed for being a great guy and would add to the culture of the locker room. Joe Ingles is a really good player, not just because of what he's able to do on the floor, but as Marcus Thompson has mentioned, he kind of has that respect across the NBA as a very good culture fit. Once again, some of the other names that the Warriors are interested in. Andre Iguodala, could there be a reunion in the Bay? He can still defend, knock down some threes. NBA Finals MVP, who obviously has a lot of playoff experience as well. Paul Millsap, a former All-Star, who's not going to demand a wildly over crazy price tag either. Uh, I think guys like that who are in that veteran window are also in play for Golden State as they continue to bulk up and round out this roster alongside Steph Curry, Klay Thompson, as well as Draymond Green. So Dubs fans watching right now, I think you're pretty happy with the way things are trending for Golden State in NBA free agency, but this is my next question for you. Name a free agent you want the Warriors still to sign. I threw out a couple names like Iguodala, Patty Mills, uh, as well as Paul Millsap. Get those names in in the comments section right now.